the legendary warrior typhoon in combination with four times ultimate pulsar can this work or not i want to show you the gameplay in this video hello everybody and welcome to my new one thank you for joining if you want please leave a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell then you never will miss any of my videos and so on and yeah let's go let's start up here on a long range map with a long range setup i choose here the newer drone because of the death mark um, because when i play this setup it's always that i uh, do one versus one and uh, the enemy is close to me and this can be very helpful too at the other point i will let you know um the setup of this setup after the gameplay here i will show you which pilot skills which pilot i use for this setup to increase everything to increase the damage output and the defense the modules i will show you in the end too let's go okay we have here a long range map the new one is back jaman tau and for this setup it is made for you have to play carefully against those harpoon weapons and against those snipers with the new 1100 meter range weapons but the cool thing is on jaman tau you can hide against um, or behind everything on this map and that is cool and um yeah i really like to play this map now oftener um and here let's try to get this one in a good amount yeah in a good way down and he is going behind cover and i choose here the pilot with when i use my ability 25 percent more damage output and this is amazing this is cool and uh, for those who are planning to get maybe one or two maybe three or four of those ultimate pulsar weapons um i can say yeah they worth everything because the weapon is nice the damage output is great and the ability of the weapon you know it from the normal version is a uh, must have in the game when you play long range hangers so if you have the chance maybe to get one or two of them then yeah try to pimp them up and uh, play them because yeah like i said they are powerful against yeah every enemy against titans and so on i will show you a little bit later in the gameplay how good this setup work here okay we um hold the middle beacon here and let's try to get this ball a little bit down that works well okay he's going behind cover now he is searching for cover and yeah look at the damage output here again using my ability and this was close this was really close um but um then my teammate got him down in a very good way okay we still can hold the beacon here in the middle and um yeah the good thing is on this weapon the um, firepower is amazing and the reload time is amazing too so yeah a must have weapon if you have the chance to get it okay still good here and let's try to help my teammate in the middle i have to play carefully like i said the um harpoon weapons are strong against the typhoon and here is the first and here was the first defense monster and look with 25 percent more damage output and uh, those kind of weapons because of the ability wow the damage is so amazing and yeah on 600 meter range you can hit everything in a good way okay we got the enemy very fast down here as you see they are not so much anymore so let's try here to show you in this gameplay a little bit um the ability or how good this weapon can work i think um when you use this one on the mass robot 2 I, I i really think about it to do another video about this one with the mass robot um i think you can be very powerful in this situation too okay let's go we have the first titan there let's see what we can do using the ability here let's go and then we can do 25 percent more damage but the bad thing was here that he can use this ability so i can't do a good amount of damage then to him wait reload and let's have a look this is the luchador ladies and gentlemen it seems like with a pilot and we got him really good down okay he's jumping using my ability again and boom together we got him nice that was fast okay let me know what do you think about this setup here maybe you have the normal version of those weapons on your typhoon and um yeah to increase the speed and this is the most or the yeah, biggest reason i choose this drone um the speed is now great because when you destroy 
um, the enemy you will get some speed points for your robot and you all know with a typhoon it is great to have when you have the extra skill um, that you are faster it is great too but for me I'm really prefer the damage output because the 25% damage output on five seconds is great and it can help so much I know speed is great too in the game but it all yeah in combination with this drone this um, yeah, or you can fix this with the drone. Okay, again, we had here some luck against this robot because he had some harpoons equipped and like I said, they will bring your Typhoon very fast down then. I use those kind of weapons against the Typhoon, against the Mars robots and um, yeah, they doing very well here using, again, my ability crazy. This damage output, amazing. I'm really looking forward to maybe try to get this set up for my own account and yeah okay we win here the first game um, and um, let's have a short look I didn't even capture beacons here but I got some enemies down here we go one left the game here he um, get two beacons and um, yeah not even a fair game at all but I wanted to show you the gameplay or uh, the firepower of this weapon set up in combination with the Typhoon we will start here into the next round and um, same situation here we have to capture beacons but um, you can't play the typhoon as a brawler so it can power it can be powerful um, but you at first in the first seconds in the game um, you have to stay behind cover a little bit and try to get the enemy from behind to get some defense points maybe if you use the armadillo drone or so on or so on Okay, the enemy is trying to get the middle beacon and I will help here with the left one. Let's try to get this one. Okay. And here in this map it is cool to have this drone because of the death mark it is great too. So you have on short range a huge amount of damage output because of the ability of the pilot plus um, the death mark from the drone. And this I really like. And then I noticed, oh, there is a seraph behind me and he is getting me down in a very good way. As you can see, and he's watching to me. Let's use my ability here. Boom, and I got him with my ability. What is great too. Okay. There is another fast typhoon as you saw. And this one will give me problems because he has some shotguns and those shotguns work very well on this typhoon build too. But let's have a look together and let's try here to do some damage everyone is in the middle here it feels like <laughs> let's go and we got those robots very fast down and here it is now look at this the damage output crazy he doing well he doing very well that was close it was really close but at all we had here the better position only three weapons left but still with three weapons this robot is amazing boom and we got him triple bibble <laughs> and only two weapons left for me it was a lot of fun to play this build and i'm like i said looking forward maybe to get those kind of weapons for myself in the future that would be nice because i really like the look of it and the firepower and how good they work on the typhoon i really like to play the typhoon but you all know this okay and now let's have a short look at my setup for the typhoon which modules I use and which um, skills for the pilots I use okay here we go ultimate pulsar three times mk3 then we use the modules nuclear amplifier repair amplifier and last stand in combination with the unstable conduit and the pilot river chase with the skills Thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully you will have a great start into the weekend. We will see us hopefully soon. Don't forget to hit the like button. Bye bye everyone and aloha.